In other news, a high-level multi-sectoral task force has been established to monitor and control the spread of the E. coli bacteria, which has been detected in several private groundwater wells in North Andros. The Ministry of Agriculture and Marine Resources was on the island speaking to farmers, touring packing houses and urging residents to take precaution. Here's Desmond Sanders. Uh, we conducted 25 tests. 72% of them came back with E. coli at an unacceptable level. Executive Director of the Bahamas Agricultural, Health and Food Safety Authority, Christopher Warwell, revealing the results of recent tests conducted by the authority showing E. coli bacteria within several groundwater wells in North Andros. Residents, particularly farmers, now on high alert. During a town hall meeting at the Huntley Christie High School in North Andros Friday evening, local health and food safety officials advised North Androsians to decontaminate, safely monitor, and treat their wells with chlorine tablets to avoid contamination. Antibacterial solutions and chlorine now accessible to farmers for their produce. We would like for everyone to use some type of PVC piping to extend the height of the well so that it's not sitting on the surface of the soil. The, the antimicrobial rinse is a solution that will be used to rinse the fruit and vegetables off after they would have been washed in a plain water solution. And the, the purpose of that rinse is to ensure that all the pathogens or potential pathogens that are on the fruits and vegetables are killed. A passionate plea from the Member of Parliament for North Andros and the Barry Allen's constituency, Carlton Boleg, who assured residents that there have been no reported outbreaks or symptoms of the bacteria. More for us now to go in a prevention mode with our people here in North Andros and in Central Andros. As a matter of fact, and I am happy to say that North Andros is now being used as a template for wherever else they're going to go, they will have a better knowledge of it because it is studied here. This issue is critical to the lifeblood and survival of this thriving agricultural and food production hub. North Andros supplies over 40% of produce annually to the local market. Minister of Agriculture and Marine Resources, the Honorable Michael Pintard. 25 samples were taken throughout North Andros. And I believe there was two additional uh, samples that were added, and he would comment on them, uh, whether it was 25 or 27, but not less than 25 samples were taken. We were sufficiently satisfied based on the tests that E. coli was discovered in the water, the well water. And we want to make a clear distinction between the water you get from water and sewage, which they will speak to, that has no problems. Water and sewage officials assuring residents that the public water supply system is safe and not impacted by the bacteria. Water and sewage distribution system is operating as usual and the water is very, very safe. Well, just days after the reported groundwater contamination, packing houses like this one, operated by the Bahamas Agricultural and Marine Science Institute, shifted into full gear, carrying out the highest safety precautions and measures.